our today's topic for focus of the day is the carbon market we'll see was it a news what is a carbon market what are carbon credits benefits of a carbon market types of carbon market challenges with the new bill and then we will come to our prelims question and the mains question as well so before starting i want you to know that our coaching analyst ias is launching a super fast prelims batch the batch will start from 15th of january 2023 itself and the first 50 aspirants will also avail 25% discount in their fees this batch will complete your whole syllabus before the exam and also there would be regular test series to monitor your progress so if you are interested and serious about the preparation then you can contact at our given number or you can come directly at our office for any inquiry which is at old rajendra nagar new delhi so we will see was it a news recently the energy conservation amendment bill 2022 was passed in the parliament on december 12th the bill amends the energy conservation act of 2001 to empower the government to establish carbon markets in india and specify a carbon credit trading system we will see what is a carbon market carbon markets are a tool for putting a price on carbon emissions it allows the trade of carbon credits with the overall objective of bringing down emissions it establishes trading systems where carbon credits or allowances can be bought and can be sold article 6 of the paris agreement provided for the use of national carbon markets by countries to fulfill their nationally determined contributions this is an illustration how the carbon market works so this is the allocation of greenhouse gas emission units there are two emitters emitter a and emitter b emitter b have reduced uh, greenhouse gas emissions and emitter a have excess of greenhouse gas emissions then he can purchase carbon credits from the carbon market and emitter b can sell the carbon credits in the carbon market so we will see what are carbon credits so carbon credits or carbon offsets are points issued to an entity for undertaking an activity that has the effect of either avoiding emission of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere or absorbing some of the co2 back from the atmosphere one credit is given for one ton reduction in the co2 now we will see benefits of the carbon market so there is switch to cleaner fuels these markets might stimulate a decrease in energy consumption and a switch to cleaner fuels as well then innovation government regulated trading schemes may encourage business to innovate invest in and implement affordable low carbon technologies because they provide a clear trajectory showing how emission restrictions will be tightened and allowances made less available according to the world bank trade in carbon credits may cut the cost of implementing ndcs in half by 2030 to as much as 250 dollar billion types of carbon market there are two types of carbon market voluntary and compliance carbon market so voluntary carbon markets they include business individual and others they purchase carbon credits to compensate for emission of 1 ton of carbon dioxide or similar greenhouse gases these carbon credits are produced through actions that remove co2 from the atmosphere including afforestation in a voluntary market a business that wants to make up for its inevitable greenhouse gas emissions by carbon credits from an organization working on initiatives to eliminate decrease capture or avoid emissions in voluntary markets credits are verified by private firms as per popular standards in a compliance market are set up by the policies at national regional or international level they are formally regulated the cap and trade principle which is most common in the european union governs most compliance markets today in accordance with the european union's emissions trading system ets which went into effect in 2005 member nations set a quota or limit on emissions in a variety of industries including waste management manufacturing oil and power this cap is established in accordance with national climate goals and is gradually lowered to cut emissions now we will see what are the challenges with the new bill so there is lack of clarity on mechanism the bill lacks the clarity regarding the mechanism to be utilized for trading carbon credit certificates whether it will be similar to cap and trade schemes or employ 
another method and who will regulate such tradings ministry members questioned whether the power ministry should have introduced the bill rather than the ministry of environment forest and climate change and also there is no clarity in existing certificates the fact that the bill makes no mention of whether the certificates which are currently in place schemes would similarly be interchangeable with carbon credit certificates and tradable for decreasing carbon emissions is another significant worry raised now we'll come to our prelims question with reference to clean development mechanism consider the following statements it is a carbon offset program managed by unfccc the clean development mechanism allows a country with an emission reduction or emission limitation commitment under the paris climate agreement you can choose from the given options you can pause the video here as i have given the answer in the next slide in the right corner so now we'll come to our main question discuss global warming and mention its effect on the global climate explain the control measures to bring down the level of greenhouse gases which cause global warming in the light of kyoto protocol of 1997 this question came in the year 2022 itself